Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. I literally woke up, like, five seconds ago. <laughs> um, I'm in desperate crunch time right now. Um, I have to go back to work. I'm going back to archaeology work. I announced it on Twitter, but I know not everybody sees that. Um, so, yeah, I will be going to New Mexico to work on a pretty sweet project out there. Um, and that means uh, that I have today to get a bunch of videos recorded and edited and uploaded. Well, you know, they can upload kind of while I'm gone. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully, usually what happens is if I manage to get the videos recorded and uploaded, um then the schedule is actually better while I'm away because I, because it's scheduled actually. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, where's my house? Ugh, still three days? It's too much, it's too much. Uh. Of our daisy court. Wait, no, okay, there was a... Okay, but yeah. So, I will be away, and literally in the middle of nowhere. So, unable to answer any questions or anything until I get back. But I'm really excited going back to archaeology. It's, I always... It's a little bit sooner this year than I was expecting. So, I'm pretty freaking excited. Um, apparently there's like, um, an island, uh, quest that I should do. I'll need to check. People have been kind enough to tell me cool ones to do. Alright, uh, somebody said we should do the isle quest. I don't know what the Isle Quest is. Someone said investigating a mansion northeast of the Frontfalar village, a bit below the Gilanezer farm marker point. Okay. Um. Oh, and apparently I didn't kill the uh, boss of the bandit base. Apparently he was up uh, a ladder that I didn't see. <laughs> So that's cool. It's fine. I play video games for a living. Except I don't. <laughs> a mansion northeast of the Frankfurt village. I don't want to go up with these people. I don't know where anything is. Damn. Near the Gilanezer farm. There's Frank Olar. Northeast of there? Apparently there's a farm out here. Is this the farm maybe? That looks like a mansion anyway. I should just... Does this place not have a marker? I really do want to get my sword fixed. It's really annoying. Guy. Whoa, my eyes hurt. I literally. My 
eyes hurt from waking up. Can't see anything. It's fine. Alright, let's go there. It's apparently that's the closest to that struggle point. I was like, look at that sunrise. Nope, it is the... Well, I just need to board without tasting it first. It just, it, it's the, it's the sun set. That's the word. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to... I hate it when it does that. Yeah, I will be able to get stuff done. Yay, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know. I sh maybe I shouldn't have done this when I had just woken up. But I got stuff to do. Plus, today I have like a billion other things to do, right? Got most of my gear. The cow is floating! I got most of my gear figured out. But there's always last minute stuff, and there's groceries. And Going to the right spot? Yeah, okay. Ooh, there's like a little trail, like right. What a pretty little, pretty little village. I thought I said peasant. <laughs> it says pheasant. Hey, hey, peasants hiding in the grass. All right, down here. We gotta go a bit northeast of there. I'm gonna head to that mansion-y looking thing. They all look like ruins to me from the top-down view they gave us on the map. But, yeah, I think this is the village that I found that dead couple in with the rose petals. Mm, sure. We'll go give her, give her a gander. I don't know where the farm would be. Maybe unless it was like here? They don't really show like farm. Well, eh, 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 farm land. Well, now I'm curious if it's not this one actually. They said northeast, which is, you know, never east. So east is on the right. But they might have meant the west. <laughs> Who knows? I feel like I've run all over this area. This might be the place. No, this is probably a different place. Another no one I'm thinking of. Um. Yeah, let's. If I gotta have a quest on my face, then tell me when this is done. But, we're going this way. We're gonna go check out this big mansion-y looking thing, and then we'll go west. Let's see if that isn't a big mansion-y thing. Oh, but is there a blacksmith? Really do that. You know what, whatever. We'll just use, uh... One of these. Jeez. I used to have so many of those. I don't pick them up as often here. Uh, no, okay, this is the road. Does the road help me, actually? Oh yeah, yeah. Road is good. We like the road. What else? I think I, think I got everything. I'm not sure. Man, this is spooky. The crescent bandages. What's that about? What? Whoa! The crescent bandages. Where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but. He he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. 
Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? Wow. I, I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully, when I saw him, I considered... I kind of believe this guy. Maybe I'm the wrong. The thought entered my mind. I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need? It's simply not the decent thing to do. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who? Who might you be, precisely? I'm very professional. Oh. Uh, uh, go! Uh, do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep. Edges unfrayed. A slash. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm, breastplate's unusual. Dented. And it's got a patina. And What's that? Antiquity, I believe. Oh, that's the I cover, right? Like things. a patina so, uh, glaze? What's puzzling is... Why did he done it? Not oh, so he's not a... That from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do. So... So long. Take care of yourself, merchant man. Wait, I will come with you. What? No! Bed! Gotta be kidding. This isn't a garden romp. Whatever killed him's damn dangerous and... And, and it might still prowl the area, so if it's all the same, I'd prefer to accompany you. Hmm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Geralt is just, he just, extreme cosplay? What? Oh, because he was wearing, like I was wearing armor that wasn't his, right? It's an antique. So, okay, cosplay's deadly, kids, remember that. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. Okay, so in archaeology, a patina surface is something that you generally, or not generally, but it's easier to find rock art on when it's a patina surface, at least for me. Um, oh wait, am I, should I be investigating? Um, so I wasn't sure what it would mean in terms of armor, but if it's like a glazed type surface, like a work the house surface. On the hill, which stands silent as a grave. Um, then that would make sense. To me. It's like it's like a wor working like sort of a, 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 a type of words. Must have been here he broke his legs. Oh. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property probably after he didn't manage to open the gate. But he was still bleeding. Like he had been caught bleeding, fell here, broke his leg. Now I'm not sure I trust you if this is an extreme cosplay thing. Gates locked from the inside. Clearly been jostled. It's broken. Though. Something broken. tried to get out. <sighs> the very thought sends a cold wind down my back. Shh. You're not supposed to talk. Oh, I guess I can break it since it's pretty broken, huh? No? What do you want me to do? It's like right here. What if I light it on fire? No. Okay. I keep wanting to like just climb the wall because I played like Assassin's Creed World Origins a while back. You can't do that. Geralt can't just run up walls, even though he's a freaking witcher. 
Whoa. Oh, God. A bear? Yeah, I mean, game, you're telling me to just follow the tracks of the murdered man, but if you're not gonna let me break the door down, I don't know what you want from me. Oh well, we'll have to just go away and never figure out this weird mystery. They're all locked. What if I stand further back? Oh my gosh! I was too close to it. I thought so. Ugh. Okay. What? Damn Those better it. be actual, Good actual God. statues. Servant, stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. Nope, it definitely a, a dude. To be sure. Definitely a dude, and I'm really getting a little suspicious of you now, dude. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. But something dented the plate. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial. And Shea handiwork clearly. So wait, wait. Were maybe these people doing like a cosplay? Like, like some sort of like themed event? And then whoever they took this stuff from got mad at them, maybe? It's like, hey, man, that's not cool. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. Um, I mean, it looks like bread to me. Burn marks. So they catch fire, explode. Strong stench. Oh, look at this. To Saint Knight's armor. That was the cosplay bucket. A book. Oh. Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds. But, hard but to the tell attire is elven. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. That Are makes sense. How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. That's true, I haven't really seen any, now that I think about it. I just kind of assumed it was just a mix of people in the, in the, villa, in the towns, you know? But they're mostly human. Interesting. And that makes sense for like an elf, because I think, I think in this world too, they're generally quicker than humans, so multiple stab wounds, like ba 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 bam you know? Makes sense. They are very Fled, fast. Then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Nope. Double it scorched. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Oh, okay. Perhaps there's no one inside after. I can hear I them breathing. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean you no harm. They, they remain there. Huh? Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits... It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I 
broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it. Uh, it wow, he's giving out. me anxiety. He's like, oh, geez, that's scary. Who are you exactly? D Durant Fosher Plamondon de Safaran, Lord of these lands. Oh, are you? And chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tuzo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin homage, but something like this, why it's the first? The Elven homage? Huh? Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Nah. Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. Hey, buddy! You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help, but I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. So they're reenacting a moment when, like, an elven king surrenders. No wonder. Either it's an actual specter, or it's not, and it's I a real elf that's mad. Sit in for King Ludovic upon the elfin throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The people in the costumes are dead. The Vethef, the Elven King, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. <laughs> I was like, do I gotta light the torches now? Okay, I can do that. I was tempted to just use Igni on the general area, but you know. This is creepy though. I thought it would be real elves, but maybe not. I wish, you know. Oh. I don't think I need that yet, but I have it. Um. If they ever do, because I know they said they're done. Um. Oh. oh. Hold on a second. I know they said they're done with Geralt's story, right? Um. But. It'd be cool. I don't want that. I want to light this. It'd be cool if we could do like series story or like see something from the point of view of a non-human. Laid at Ludovic's feet, a loaf of binnen, an elf and bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. Why? Why would you do that? It wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna save them. I don't know. The better filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. We know it. The sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. He must have been so, like, Long resentful. Last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield. Thus symbolically passing command of his armies. Of his elven armies? Where did all the elves go? They did they just die or what? Man, it sucks. I hate that elves are always the ones that are like like all non-humans are always the ones that are like being pushed out of the land. It sucks. It's boring. It's boring. It's a stupid story. 
Why can't we play a story where the elves are the one in charge? Or the dwarves, for heaven's sake. That would be interesting. Whoa. Wait, wait. So, draw them? Oh, draw them. Okay. Oh, wrong button. I was, like, trying to put him down on his feet. It was a magical sword. Oh, will it be in... Nope. Yeah. It's a steel sword, so I'm fighting actual humans. Probably. Where's the shield? I don't know how to equip a shield. I'm not trying to attack a target. I... Oh, uh, it, will it be in like a consumable or something? Right. I assume since a shield is not something. Yes. Oh, where did it go? No, wait, not where I went. I'm trying to rotate Geralt. Wait, what? Oh, did I accidentally knock a lamp out? I did. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Erect in his pride, drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. I had to use the keyboard. I had to figure to freaking use the keyboard. Figure figure it out. I'm I'm trying. I really am. Lutofik then spake. Accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to. Oh! Ah, look! Oh! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! Are they elves? Oh! Whoa! 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 And they weren't just like, oh, I'm going to move around but look like a statue still. They like fit. There's like actual people under there. Whoa! Ow. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. No! No! This is half my problem! 
problem! This is half my problem! They all faded, they all fade. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna put some mutations on. I've got to put an oil on my sword. We'll be fine. I just was very, very much taken, come on. Taken by surprise. Also, give me back my sword. Um... Oh crap, all the ones I like. I did, oh boy. Crap? Sure. 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 Oh my gosh, this is so dumb. Okay, so don't take the sword off, but then I lose all the wit. The Grandmaster. I don't have the Grandmaster perks if I take the sword off. Okay, please. Please let me. I don't know, I'm tempted to go back in time. Oh, I killed somebody. That's cool. down. I just have these stupid fireball ladies. <laughs> Quinn is saving the bacon right now. But I think it does do damage. Uh, it like, does explosion damage. If it, the skull forever. They came alive. By what witchcraft? Don't know. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. Nah. I, I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace. I was gonna say if they've been doing this every year and it hasn't happened. I a month passed because. Uh, Perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Devethev 
was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet, he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethef had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such, columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards. If you knew that, so why did you bring them? Confetti. Typical. Treachery embodied. Elves. Psh. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Humans are no better, and what would you have done in their place? You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave no, empty handed. I'm not wrong. Take this. Reward. Farewell. Stupid humans. Shouldn't have killed those elves. Should just let them live. Golems, though. They certainly didn't look like golems. They certainly looked super real. I might actually take some of that fruit. Because uh, it's nice to eat when you're in the middle of a fight. I've used up so much water. You see how much water I've used? Boring. Well, that was interesting. I don't know if that was the quest that was meant, but it was certainly really interesting. Um... Kind of tempted to go check that one out now too. Let's see, Isle Quest. Isle Quest. I'm trying to think. Maybe, maybe go into the island there. I don't know. It's the only like island, but it's not an isle. But yeah. Anyway, I'll probably call this one here. <laughs> Lots of stuff to edit out on that one. Yay! So much dying and interruptions. It's great. Oh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying. Um, I will do my best to get as many of these quests that people want done. And sooner rather than later, though, I'll probably finish it up. But uh, at least at least continue down the main storyline again because I'm kind of eager to see how it ends. But anyway, this is this has been cool. There's tons of cool quests out here. So yeah. Thank you guys again. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.